The former British Prime Minister David Cameron has held talks with President Zelensky in Kyiv on his first official trip as Foreign Secretary. Lord Cameron said he wanted Ukraine to be his first destination in his new role, to which he was appointed by the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on Monday. For more, here's our correspondent James Waterhouse in Kyiv. Well, this was a surprise meeting. Uh, David Cameron, as, as you say, uh, told President Zelensky he wanted Ukraine to be his first official visit. And these are friendly soils, shall we say, for a British minister. Why? Well, the UK is seen as one of Ukraine's staunchest allies, and notably the former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who was in charge during the full-scale invasion, who uh, was uh, instructed his government to supply uh, several uh, well, endless uh, military aid to Ukraine. And I think that's why Lord Cameron referenced his predecessor, well, <laughs> sorry, his successor, Boris Johnson, by saying, look, we disagreed on many things, but I think the support for Ukraine he oversaw was one of the finest things he and his government did. And I think uh, that wouldn't have happened by accident. But it's interesting, when David Cameron was Prime Minister, that was in 2014, when Russia embarked on this campaign of aggression against Ukraine and the UK and other Western allies chose to instead impose sanctions on Russia to condemn the actions of Vladimir Putin when he annexed Crimea and, and supported militants in the east of Ukraine. Um, I wonder what he thinks now being back in the country as it continues to be on the receiving end of a, of a full-scale invasion. But nevertheless, this was a very warm meeting. Uh, Mr Cameron presumably flew into, into Poland where he would have taken an over overnight train to Kiev where this meeting took place. No press conference, so we weren't able to ask them any questions. But I think what President Zelensky would have been listening out for was the word continuation, which he got. The continued support, as Lord Cameron put it, from the UK in terms of moral, economic, and above all, he said, military support, which he said the UK would continue to provide, which will be some crumbs of comfort, I think, to Ukraine amidst continuing political turmoil, shall we say, on the issue of continued support for Ukraine among some allies.